Yes. One question. Yep. Uh, you mentioned uh, this. This. Uh, what I do not understand is uh, the. You said uh, the mountain is in me, or you have the the thing with the cup, the object, uh, the the perceiver and the object, and then is the object in me? Well, I, I if you do this, then no. The object's not in me, the object's in me. Okay. That's the difference. I don't know if I get it. <laughs> okay, so then, that's a good question. So, what I say is that you are, you're not aware, you're not doing aware. This blown wide open, you can't, you can't deny that aware is, right? Aware, that's obvious, right? Aware, everything's appearing here in this aware, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I say that's who you are. You're not doing aware, you're not being aware. Aware, that's you. Mm -hmm. Right, the microphone isn't aware, the mountain isn't aware. I say that's who you are, you are aware. You're not so Stefan. So I am everything. Excuse me? So, I am everything. I don't kind like of. to say that because then you start thinking you're the mountain and that, that gets confusing. It's not like yeah, that. It's, uh, there's some confusion. For the purpose of the beginning here, I say, uh, first of all, everybody recognize blown wide open, aware, right? It's obvious you can't deny. Aware. Knowing. Knowing. I like the word knowing. Full. Everything is known here This in this aware, right? Including this knee. And this knee is in aware, right? Yes. That knee is in aware. Yes. That mountain is in aware. Yes. Well, then who are you? You're aware. That's okay. who you are. The shift of knowing, a shift of being also. If we're not self-focused like this, me, 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 and very exclusive, but if we just blown wide open, then everything is appearing here equally, isn't it? What is it appearing within? Aware. You could say, right? You understand what I mean? So I say aware isn't something you're doing. I'm saying that's who you are. You are aware. Mm -hmm. So okay. now you, you see a shift of knowing who you are, a paradigm shift. You see what I mean? Yes, I think I understand. Yeah. So I am this in which everything appears, yep. including this body. Yes. I am the knowing. The knowing, yes, yes. okay. Because you know the body, you know everything that's going on in the mind. So you know. there is no entity, it's just the knowing. There's no entity. Knowing is not a thing. Okay. It's purely subject, it's pure subject, it's not an object at all. Knowing is not an object. Sure. Yeah. So everything in the body is known, any sensations are known, the thoughts are known, emotions are known, the microphone is known, the mountain is known. What's it known to? It's known to knowing, to aware. So inside and outside. And yeah, there, and there is no uh -huh. inside and outside, but yes, exactly. Inside, anything that's known is known to what? Me, aware. <laughs> You see what I mean? I think you see. Yes. So this is a, sh a paradigm shift, I call it, because normally we just think I am Salvador and I'm looking out from here. But if you know yourself blown wide open, then everything is within me, including this and including that mountain. It's all within, and, and you see what I mean, right? And it's all here. It's all right here. It's not over there. It's here in knowing. Here, everything is here in knowing in me. You see what I mean, right? It's huge. It's huge, it's, huge. it's a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. It's knowing yourself in a very different way than you've ever known before. It's always been like this, we just never don't notice, you know. So it's not, it's not, uh, well it's huge, but it's not, any transcendent experience or nothing gained or attained or anything like that. It's nothing really new. It's just never really been noticed, you know. We have a case of mistaken identity. That's why I say there's no big self and no small self. There's only the self in which everything is. 
including the appearance of this body, including the appearance of a so-called small self. It all appears in this knowing, which is, who, which is what I call I, or Ramana calls the self, or Christians call God. Well, what do you think of yourself now? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's also the seeing is included somehow. The seeing? So what do you mean by the seeing? The seeing of the things yes, I see. Yes, yeah, exactly. And the seeing of and the, thing the itself. recognition. Yeah. It's also kind of yeah it's all uh, the same included. you can just call so, all of it knowing even seeing yeah. is knowing hearing is knowing or aware you know the, the hearing and the visual and the, these are just the functions of the body yeah but that's all actually in, in knowing as well you know uh, the sensation I have now it's the, the uh, you know how you say the Das Auflösen der Grenze. Border. Ah, yeah, yeah the, the, the disappearance of borders. Good, that's exactly right. Because usually we think we end at the skin line. I end here and the world begins right over here. Well, that's not really what's going on, actually. There's no in and out, you know. Knowing doesn't end here. Knowing is f permeates everything. Permeates everything. There's no inside and outside in that way. Yeah. That's good. No borders. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Good. So that's what I mean by living freedom. Know yourself in a different way than you've known before. You know. And when you know yourself in a different way than you've known before, you there's much less contraction, you know. Contraction also comes and goes. That's the movement. It can be contraction. Of course, the, the rickshaw runs me off the road or the bus driver runs me off the road and I'm like, you fucking asshole. You could, that looks like contraction, right? What's the problem? That's, so contraction comes and goes as well. No problem. The body itself is a contraction. The very body, even if it's fully relaxed, it's still some contraction in a body, even fully relaxed, you know? So, that, so that's all fine, you know? Uh, this is complete freedom, actually. That's right. This that is complete. Because nothing can happen. Uh, can happen because nobody. Actually, nobody is here. That's right. That's exactly right. Actually, nobody is here. Kind of. That's right. Uh, that's right. That that is true, and uh, people get stuck at that that there's nobody here thing, which is true. But then we come full circle and we fully embra embrace the personal aspect as well which is just the contraction movement that's happening. So we don't deny that as well, otherwise we're mm -hmm. gonna be some lump of homogenous enlightenment or something sitting on a rock somewhere, thinking we're free. So, but that's true what you're saying. There's nobody here, this is total freedom. Total freedom. Because who you are, and again, we're starting at this particular uh, part of the, the intensive, so I, I'll leave out for a moment the full circle aspect, but who you are is not Stefan. There's no Stefan. That name could have been Frank. What's Stefan? You know? Uh, the movement of that body, Stefan, could have been born in another country and have a different language and a different culture. So how can that be who you are? Because that's very malleable and changeable and transitory and dying. Right? So in this aspect of what we're speaking about, no, you're not Stefan and you're not Stefan's body either. You're that knowing in which this body appears and all bodies. Okay. And the knowing in which this body appears. So let's do a little experiment then. So we, we over here we have Mount Arunachala, blown wide open, that's happening within this aware, isn't it? Isn't Mount Arunachala happening in aware? And then we'll come a little closer and the, like the trees, they're happening in aware, right? And then uh, the railing here, this green railing out there is happening in aware, right? 
these the window is happening in awareness. Everybody stick your arm out like this, facing Mount Arunachala. This hand is also happening in aware, isn't it? So isn't that that's just like everything else is happening in aware. So is this hand which you think you are. It's all ha so happening in aware. And if you keep going closer and closer to this body, it's all still happening in aware, isn't it? So this is the shift of the paradigm shift or the shift of knowing who I am. Mm -hmm. And then you see you're actually unlimited. You are unlimited. God is unlimited. The self is unlimited. The self. Why does Ramana call it the self? Because we mistake this to be the self. We mistake this body to be the self. This body is a very small aspect of the self. Ramana says the self, he means this, all of it, you know. This is the self. This is not the self. This is only a small part. The self is all of it. The self, you know. Is there an I? Yes. All of it. But again, not like we think, I'm the tree and I'm the mountain. This is a kind of a mystical, esoteric sort of whatever belief or something, you know. Mm. It's kind of breathtaking. Great. That's a good good response. That's right. That's right. Exactly. It is.